Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good evening, I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. We've been stuck underneath the cloud cover today. That's kept our temperatures in the upper 20s and low 30s. The clouds will decrease for tonight, and that's going to allow things to cool down. We should see lows in the mid to upper teens. We'll keep partly cloudy skies tomorrow and Monday. The winds get going, though, on Monday, but it should be pretty mild for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday with temperatures in the 30s, possibly the low 40s for some of us. Here's future track and again the cloud cover is slowly pushing out to the east so I think by midnight we should be mostly clear. Uh, we'll start to see a few clouds maybe rolling in for parts of tomorrow. Just passing clouds though so skies look to be partly cloudy with plenty of sunshine overall. We'll see the clouds coming back in though for Sunday night with a little clipper system moving through and that's going to try to give us some light snow chances in the north and in the northeast uh, late on Sunday night. These will move through pretty quickly and they're going to be really light overall. So already by Monday morning they are out and there's a clearing returning. So again, plenty of sunshine to kick off the holiday week. With any snow that we see, it's going to be extremely minor, less than one inch, probably less than half an inch for our northeastern counties and no snow expected the further west and south you go. Now for tonight, temperatures will drop down to the mid and upper 20, uh, excuse me, mid to upper teens with decreasing clouds and a light southwest wind and for tomorrow. High temperatures back to the mid and upper 30s. We should continue to see some melting of that snowpack with partly cloudy skies and a west southwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. City by city forecast showing temperatures back into the 40s for Monday and Tuesday for most of us. Now Dubuque with a little more snow on the ground will probably be in the upper 30s, but skies remain partly cloudy. We'll get a little windy though for those two days. The winds coming in generally from about the west northwest for Monday, 15 to 25 miles per hour, and then from the south on Tuesday, 20 to 30 miles per hour. So extremely windy there. Wednesday is going to be the day of change. A chance for some light snow should not drop much accumulations, but a strong cold front will make its way through. So temperatures drop throughout the afternoon. Winds come in from the northwest and as we make our way into Wednesday night, a low of 7 Christmas Eve. Highs around 15 with mostly cloudy skies and a strong northwest wind continuing. And then as we kind of make our way into Christmas Eve night, a low of 5. Not really rebounding too much for Christmas Day with a high of 23. And all the while, the winds remain strong, meaning our wind chills will likely be in at least the single digits, probably below zero, especially for the morning hours. They could be as low as 5 to 15 degrees below zero. We'll have a nice rebound, though, for Saturday and Sunday back to the 30s with a chance for snow once again on Sunday. We'll stay in the upper 20s and low 30s to close out the 10-day forecast.